Harrowing, harrowing's got to rotate for real, for real. I, I don't like the, uh, the, I, I don't want to say play pattern, but the play pattern of, I don't care about throwing all of my units away in the early mid game. And then I just get a payoff at the end. I think it, I think it, um, rewards bad play. If I'm being perfectly honest. Similar to how, like, Nora giving you so many free units developed at first speed just lets you attack and defend without really needing to think too hard about it. And so it, it rewards lackluster play and management of those resources. And, you know, uh, you can take that to its logical extreme that any deck that generates a lot of resources uh, promotes bad play because of the amount of resources you're generating. Um, I think we, th we keep Thermo so that we can hit Thermo on their Jace. Oh, uh, the, uh, what is it? Inner, what, what, the, the NASA spell, Spirit Fire? No, that wouldn't have saved me there. <laughs> those, those mist race were huge. That would not have saved me there. Oof. Hmm. Pass. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I need to run like some AoE in this deck. That was just that was just bad luck. There's really nothing to say about it, you know? You know, my opponent hit double Wraith Caller. All three main deck mist rates and a and a um Risen mists. It, it was just a lot. We can do this. So, I I can't be too upset about that. So I can looking at my hand. I can go thermogenic beam. In the next turn, I can do Demacian's Tellstone's uh, prismatic barrier to activate Lux. Persuader, that's the name of the guy. Illuminate the enemy. I need to get value off of this bearer, even though Mystic Shot is very likely. Need clearance, pal. Keep it up. And then I've got the Demacian Tellstones as well. So we're in a very, very good spot here, to be honest. If I had one more mana, I could formula and still have mana for Demacian Tellstones Prismatic Barrier. We cancel out their hex obliterator because it's a damage dealing spell. My brain thinks that this card works like Sunburst and it doesn't. And then I final spark their 4 3. Lord have mercy, what an exchange. I have triple Albus Ferris in hand. <laughs> and I'm just chillaxing, chat. Oh, God, another 3 3. Hmm. I've, uh, I've got to block down. Because I've already gotten enough value out of Lux. And Albus Ferris is going to draw me Jace. Industry and, vision, the twin pillars are built over. and if my opponent spends mana to answer the Lux, then I'm chilling. I'm fine. You could also go for assembly line there. I think assembly line is a little bit more correct. Because we get two three threes and then another laser off of Lux before she goes down. It's a little sad there. But this just allows me to convert, right? Because I've got Albus Ferris. It's like, okay, I'm going to play all of the decimates in the world. And now my opponent is the one on the back foot. So overall, the Albus Ferris worked out. Because if I went for assembly line, they shock blast to kill my three threes. And then I just have a laser. So this is, this is kind of fine. It's an awesome day for progress. Play Jace here. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. We've still got mana for assembly line That's and formula. I'm gonna formula instead of assembly line. My opponent only has five mana, so they can't assembly line. 
to actually go super wide against me. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Hey, big man. You ready to get in Venton? <laughs> All Ooh. day, every day, Reggie. Challenger? Yeah, my opponent is in a very, very rough spot, to say the least. That might have been a misclick. I don't know. Um, so... I can play assembly line and then level up Jace and get the acceleration gate and then cast the acceleration gate and win the game. Tomorrow has never looked so good. Because then I get the wide board plus the acceleration gate. Replicating the power spike. And my opponent wastes their dupe on the formula. Ah, concerted strike. Uh, I can go Demacia and Tellstones here into Barrier. No, no, it won't work. I could do Demacia and Tellstones Detain. Or... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna detain their Jace with my Jace. I'm pl I'm playing the Jace from another dimension, and we're putting their Jace under arrest. It's like that one episode of Justice League where the alternate dimension Justice League showed up. Help. This does actually I forgot they still get the strike from the Forge Chief, so they could have gotten uh. Hextech engaged. Yeah, yeah. They could have gotten a uh, thermo or aftershock or something. You're Justice Lords, here. yeah, exactly. Nice. So my opponent's actually running sharp sight, which I am not. And now I get a uh, doubled up Jace. They play their Lux. They have mana for stuff. If my Jace dies, they get their Jace back. So it's better for me to duplicate here before he goes down, right? Because they'd have to spend a spell first to kill Jace. So then they don't have it. Yeah, we, we just do... Bonk. Mystic and Dupla Shock Blast. Hey, show me that again. And then by taking the barrier off of Lux, my opponent, even if they do break their Jace out of jail, can't attack me with the Lux. Yeah, so they play their own Mystic Shot. So then I Mystic Shot their Lux, right? Then they'd have to put four mana on the stack. No. It's fine. Eager Apprentice is free. It's literally a zero mana two one. Demacy and Telstones. Oh, just another sharp sight. Okay. So I can play out Forge Chief. No, I keep four mana up to threaten Telstone. Ah, okay. See, this is this is a this is I think their worst line because they're just spamming out mana with the Lux in order to get the final spark. They already attack, so them getting Jace back doesn't matter. They've got Acceleration Gate. Axel, shut up. I can play Albus Ferris here. Interesting use of tech. Hmm. And they get the two final sparks. Oh, I would love to. And they have to block this down. So then we mystic shot the Jace. Pass. 
We take the damage straight to the face. Soldiers, to me. My opponent could play Albus Ferris and just kill me. This game really got away from me. Oh, shock blast. Never mind. We're good. The future is what I. <laughs> lucky, lucky. <laughs> That was a much closer game than it should have been, I think. I will, that's the sort of game that you have to really reanalyze because I definitely misplayed somewhere. If I can feel it. To get to that board state where my opponent actually had a chance to kill me, I misplayed somewhere. You should have missed it, the Lux at when she was at two health before the flip. Yeah, that was, that was definitely the turning point. I had the Mystic in hand and I think I was focused too hard on maybe trying to save it for just, oh, I'll just draw another Mystic, no worries. But at the end of the day, the difference between uh, 3 and 2 HP is r irrelevant in that deck because of Shock Blast. So that was the big misplay, definitely Mad Wheels. But I think that was a great example of a build of this deck that's maybe a bit too reactive because they had the Hexbliterators and the Sharp Sights. My deck is just more about playing a 6-mana spell Playing a six mana spell, playing a six mana spell, you know what I mean? Uh oh. If we're playing the game of my Demacia is bigger, then I think that Elite certainly has me beat. We're gonna keep the Mystic shot because it hits Armor Smith, and we need that to not snowball the game. The Eager Apprentice feels so good in this deck. Damn. Okay. Vanguard Defender rip. Shock Blast. If they play a uh, blocking bear or something, I'll definitely just Shock Blast. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. We want the hammer to come down on the Vanguard Defender. Bonk. And then we can just... You don't have to worry about the blocking bear anymore. Got a good open attack here. Um, I'll play Jace. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. I'm going Challenger on Jace so that they can't play Armor Smith into me. And then when they pass, I'll end the round. Oh, baby. The Scar is in Gambit. Because I've got the 2 1 into their 4 1, so I'm kind of just vibing. Garen would be really bad for me here. Well, not terribly bad. The finest Demosian steel. Mystic shot. Just not even going to play around with this thing. Down. Then we've got Forger tomorrow to get a 3 3. Discipline and steel. Oh, man, it was looking so good for me for a second, but they got the zero mana 3-3. Three, three. Overall, still pretty good, though. They aren't attacking, so no sharp sight. Actually, they don't have sharp sight because the mystic shot cleared. Hmm. They have champion strength mana, and Garen's also a pretty big threat. So I guess it is uh, attacking time. Giving them this trade does feel terrible, but yeah, they're just gonna—they're just gonna take the hit. At least we don't die to champion strength here. You know what I mean? Like it's not the end of the world, and we kind of want this Jace to just get a lot of value. So they're developing. I do have Shock Blast off of this Jace, but I think I want to save this and play it. Just play another Jace. I have Albus Ferris though to get another, and if I play this Shock Blast, my Jace levels up. It might be correct for me to just play the development game, though. Now, Jarvin challenges the strongest unit. And it's highest power with ties broken by highest health and then highest cost. So, if I play Badger Bear, then it will actually get pulled by Jarvin over Jace. Alright, so they're going to go for the... Silverwing Vanguard into four Demacia play. Or maybe they do have champion strength. So annoying to be in a position like this. 
If they go for four Demacia, then I just answer back with my own four Demacia to make sure that we try to keep the trades even. One banner, one death. Bannerman. So I can go for Shock Blast here. No, 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 no. I formula first. Because I get the refund from Forger tomorrow. No, no, no. I, I double dip on the spell mana with that. That's a shame. Yeah, I, I need to already have spell mana up. Mm. What's the solve? And I had to summon these two so that I have four Demacia to bully them and then also Badger Bear to protect Jace from an open attack. But if I had floated three mana, then I can go for uh, a really sexy play this turn. So I am just going to go for Shock Blast. <laughs> Because I have Albus to get the other Jace. It's okay if I if I uh, put in a Jace this turn. By getting these challengers out of the way, I get better trades across the board. And maybe even protect Jace because they don't have Jarvan and stuff anymore. This is just a, a war of attrition. If you're them, I think for Demacia might be their best line. Oh, cool. They're just going for Sergeant. Even better. That's just for the sake of bullying me out. So now I can do four Demacia, and my four Demacia gets doubled. So mine is always bigger than theirs with Jace. Replicating the power spike. I get to play two. They get to, they can only play one. And once I force them to trade their entire board away, I think we're chilling. For the Fallen isn't real. Ooh, baby, that's a good pickup. What's Jarvan's base stats? They play Jarvan with Barrier, Challenger Jace comes through. Yeah, so they just play that to, to get Challengers in. Powering up. <laughs> Judgment would be absolutely hysterical here, I'm not going to lie. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the... Uh, I don't need to pull the Ram Hound. Let me see. I can pull you, I dropped... Yeah, I can pull a 3-3. Three, three. Because then when the Fort Amasia runs out, Jace will be back at full health. So he's harder to deal with. I protect my own. Is judgment real? I'm ready. Nope. Avenge me. This also means that their board is uh, also emptied for champion strength. We fight for those who cannot. There's Gren. Um, I'm just going to pass, keep some mana in reserve. I've got Albus Ferris. Demacian Tellstones is absolutely hilarious. They do have enough mana to cast both four Demacias, but then I just chump down and it doesn't do anything. Me getting that first tempo of the doubled four Demacia is so ridiculous. Ready to do my part. Sithria, isn't it? Keep up the good work. I can dupe formula just to draw four. Try to hit shock blast. Really high chance, I think, of hitting the shock blast. And then I just clear these two and we win. No, I'm going to pass. That last card is Jarvan, I think. I think that's what they're setting up. Yeah. Unless that's second Garen and they have judgment. But then I have detain on whatever they try to, uh, whatever they try to do. Interesting use of tech. Ready for acceleration. My passes are like really on point this game. Hextech engaged. So then we clear Garen. We attack with the big lads. Actually, did anybody else get challenger? No. How did I know? How did I know, chat? They didn't even safety block. They have enough mana for concerted strike here. Oh my god. The reeds? The hardest reeds from the from the evil dimension of the Justice Lords?